Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the vlogs, or my name is Gabby. If you're new here, I am 24 years old. I am a Lululemon educator and I make content all about fashion, lifestyle, beauty, vlogs, Lululemon, that kind of thing. But today I just wanted to share with you my hair care routine and kind of all of the things surrounding that. I get a lot of questions on my hair, what I ask for at the salon, and then how I take care of it at home. So I did want to do this vlog for you to kind of answer all of those questions that's kind of why I am vlogging today but this is my hair I've done nothing to it so it looks absolutely crazy I washed it two nights ago now and normally I only wash it about every five to six days so once to twice a week depending on like ringette schedule and if I'm working out and stuff like that how dirty it gets I used to be able to go like seven eight days without washing it but then I felt like my hair was just getting super brittle on the end so that probably wasn't the best choice even with like trying to condition halfway through the week it just felt really gross and dry so I have been trying to repair my hair a little bit since I did just dye it last year for the first time so what I ask for is balayage although I feel like it's tricky like I really don't know anything about coloring hair like the processing bleach lifting color spectrum Thing. like all of that is seriously foreign to me and I don't really understand every time I try and look at it so I kind of just put my faith in the hairstylist which I feel like last time it didn't really turn out the way I wanted uh. it to they did correct it better but like now you can see like it's not great it's also very grown out I do need to go back and do it because usually these face framing pieces start about here so you can see how much my hair is actually grown out and I do need to get it like refreshed but I think next time I want to try highlights because I do like having like the lighter pieces up here especially when I put it back into a ponytail it just doesn't look like black and then there's color like when it's down it looks good and when it's curled it looks good but when it's straight it looks really weird in my opinion so I don't know maybe I'm going to try highlights next time and see if I kind of like that better because that's kind of what I'm seeing on Pinterest that I've pinned and really liked that's kind of the gist of what I do ask for at the salon. So basically I'll insert some of my like inspiration on the side here just off of my Pinterest. So I'll go on Pinterest and kind of look at the color I want. I think the last time in the summer I asked for like more of an ashy tone in my hair which I feel like didn't really work out and I'll show you why as well. But I just feel like the first time I dyed it it was kind of like a darker mushroomy brown and then the next time I tried to go for more of like an ashy tone kind of like these ones here because my hair was already dyed the parts that like grew out didn't lift the same obviously as like virgin hair up here and it just turned into like three tones you can still kind of see it like this one's more like a yellow and then this one's like more of a white so i will show you what i use to kind of correct that i did go back to the salon of course and ask for them to kind of color correct it but i do try and go to like a salon that specializes in Asian hair because I know that there's a lot of like stories and things that I've read where like your hair can turn quite orange if it's not processed correctly so I did want to make sure that I did my research and go to a salon that kind of specializes in my hair type that's kind of what I asked for at the salon and then I usually get it cut every eight months I guess so I just got it recently cut before Christmas and I usually get like face framing pieces here and then like longer layers in the bottom. But now I'm going to show you all of my hair care routine and essentials. So let's head to the bathroom. Okay, so what I use to wash my hair is the Pureology Strength Cure line. This is the whatever is in the blue bottle, I guess. Again, there's like so many different kinds of shampoo. It was really hard for me to kind of like find one and, you know, pick because again experimenting with these things can be very expensive since these are not cheap they're like slow in quality but i have been loving the purology line in general i got these like right before christmas two months ago now and i have absolutely been loving it it just makes my hair so soft i feel like it's really kind of rejuvenated and revived it i used to use like the just like drugstore like aveeno conditioner and the maori moisture 
shampoos, which I feel like aren't the worst. I am slowly upgrading all of my hair care products to be salon, like higher end quality, just because I feel like it is better for my hair. But I really recommend doing this kind of like as you run out of things. So it's not like all at once, because again, it can be very expensive. But I did get these on a little package. So they came with both of these, plus like a mini hair treatment type thing for $70 I believe so basically you're getting the mini hair treatment for free but I really have been loving these I love the scent of them as well and I do double shampoo when I wash my hair that's kind of how I can go so long between washes so like a small 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 amount of this will actually take you a long way so these will last you a long time so I'll do like a pea size amount really lather that up scrub it through my hair rinse and then once again I just feel like that adds so much more volume and really cleans the scalp better like once to kind of get rid of that product and stuff in your hair and then another one to really clean your scalp and your hair and then also every once in a while I will use this dry bar mudslide mask and I will put this in my hair like for 10 minutes I believe and then rinse it out while I'm in the shower and always using like colder water to rinse out your conditioner I feel like it really locks in the moisture and stuff and then I obviously like warm water to wash your hair not hot shouldn't be hot when you rinse it as well and I probably use this about once a month so again like every other time I wash my hair then like kind of alternate between these on wash day. Now because dyeing your hair is super expensive and I don't have money to go to the salon all the time and I feel like this is like really light for where I wanted it to be. I tried out this Moroccan oil kind of dye. This is like a hair depositing color mask and basically you just towel dry your hair and then apply this leave it in for five to ten minutes and then rinse it out and it just kind of darkens the color i honestly need to do it again but i feel like this has really helped my color last a lot longer and of course this one is a little bit darker because i feel like this is a little bit light and i want it to be darker for winter but i didn't want to pay to redo it again so this has actually been a lifesaver and this is just in cocoa which is like a darker brown color but i feel like they have quite a few other ones as well so if you do have like a blonde then you could get the blonde one and i do feel like it has worked really well so i am quite happy with this and this little packet is more than enough like i've used this i think three times already i didn't need the huge giant bottle like yes of course you could invest in it but i felt like this was plenty and would just be enough to tie me over until i got my hair dyed again okay moving on to post shower treatment i used the uh, sexy hair soy try leave-in wheat conditioning spray I also have like the giant bottle for this so I just refill this mini one but I like this mini one because then I can take it traveling whenever I need to since it is under 100 milliliters and then I will alternate as well using this Revlon coconut hair treatment this one's like the Revlon salon professional one that I got for Christmas and honestly this has lasted me a long time. Both of these have lasted a long time and I'm quite happy with the product so I will start with a leave-in conditioning treatment. Either one of these. The next thing that I'll use is this dry bar jumpstart serum. This is what it looks like. Honestly, I really, really like this serum. I think it's a nice kind of all-in-one. It smooths your hair while heat protecting it, and I always use a heat protector before I blow dry it because, of course, blow drying still applies heat to the hair. So this one is just like a click is a quick dry blowout serum and I saw this on TikTok and wanted to give it a try and honestly ended up really loving it so I do really enjoy the dry bar line as you can see um, but I really like the scent of these I know some people find it a little bit strong so depending on your personal preference but personally I have really enjoyed the uh, jumpstart blow dry serum and I'm almost out of this one so it's almost time to repurchase a new one and then finally on days like after I blow dry my hair or on days that I'm like not really styling my hair, I will of course go in with a hair oil. So I do again have two that I kind of alternate between. This one is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Treatment. Again, this one's from the drugstore and I'm just kind of trying to use it up. I really don't think it's the best for your hair, but it's not bad. And I also know that you're not really supposed to use keratin all the time because it is kind of 
or can be like too much protein for your hair. So I do also use this dry bar 100 proof smoothing oil, which I do really like as well. And that's kind of what I use to like finish my hair. So after I curl it, after I blow dry it, after I straighten it, and then just on days that it just needs a little bit of extra hydration, I always be sure to use hair oil. Last three products that are in my hair care routine is dry shampoo. This one is from Lululemon and it is just their no-show dry shampoo. Again, as an employee of Lululemon, I had to try it out, of course. It was on Markdown, so I feel like I had to test out the product before it went away forever, and honestly, I really like this dry shampoo. This is probably the most I've ever paid for dry shampoo as well. I usually just use the Herbal Essences one that's like $4 at the drugstore, and again, I'm trying to upgrade all of my products to higher quality, products that are better for your hair so I don't know I really enjoyed this one I think it is still um, on the website and I'll have everything linked down below that I've talked about in this video so far and what I'm going to talk about so be sure to check out the links in the description if you want to try out try out any of these things but uh, yeah really impressed with the dry shampoo I think it works really well it doesn't leave like a residue and doesn't leave that like white powder in your hair for hairspray I am still using some Pantene this is just like the air spray I just find that this one's more light hold than most hairsprays so I kind of like that it's not like too crunchy and honestly I don't really see the value in using like a super high-end hairspray so I will probably continue to purchase the drugstore kind which is good enough for me but let me know down in the comments if I should be investing in like higher end hairsprays if there's like actually a benefit to it but for me it's kind of like mascara where I don't really see like a huge difference in high end versus drugstore so now for a new product that I've been trying this is the Bumble and Bumbles uh, hairdresser invisible oil I've only been testing this out for a few weeks now but I've already used quite a bit of it in here and I absolutely love it it is like the perfect kind of heat protectant. It smells good. It smooths your hair while you are styling it. So I really, really love this one. You can use it on dry hair or wet hair, but I mostly just use it on my dry hair and then I'll use the Jumpstart Quick Dry Blow Dry, Quick Blow Dry Serum for days that my hair is wet. I absolutely love this hairdresser's invisible oil. So I am going to curl my hair today. So I'm just gonna generously spray this in my hair. Of course, like with the kind of, I don't know, wet formulas instead of like the dry sprays, you do have to let it dry quite a bit. And then I just kind of brush it through to evenly distribute it. Perfect. And then for my curling wand, this is the Hot Tools 1 inch curling iron. And I just got this at Chatters, which is like a beauty store, same as like kind of like Ulta, but just for hair. I'm not sure, I don't think they have that in the US. But this is one of my favorite curling wands. I used to use the Conair one and a half, but I feel like it doesn't hold my curls as nicely and they're just too large. And one time a hairdresser used a one inch curling barrel on me and I absolutely loved it. So that's kind of what I use now to get my curls and I'll show you my whole technique and stuff with it. But I just set it to about 370 degrees which is plenty warm but my hair is like quite straight so I do need it to be hot to hold the curl and then I just have this new me straightener from <laughs> winners that I bought a long time ago this is the straightener that I use but honestly I don't really straighten my hair that often now that it's dyed I feel like again it just looks so much better curled and then I just have this Conair basic hair dryer Sure, one day I'd like to upgrade to like a nicer blow dryer, but honestly, this one does the trick. Okay, while we wait for the hair curler to kind of warm up, another thing I really wanted to do is clean out my makeup. So this is kind of the situation I am working with. Again, it is not the prettiest. I used to have, please don't mind the boxes I'm using for my tripod. I used to have like a makeup thing on the counter, but I really didn't like the look of that. So I did put it in the drawer, but as you can tell, I've literally just thrown it all in here. It is not spectacular by any means. So I really want to kind of organize this whole basket. Plus things are just falling out. And I feel like I need to get rid of these. I literally have 
had them for way too long since they came out basically and I never wear eyeshadows anymore either especially this one this one especially needs to go this was the first eyeshadow palette I have ever gotten and it was a gift I've used it like quite a bit but again it is so old I feel like I just don't really wear eyeshadows anymore but it literally pains me to have to think about throwing these out because I know they were super expensive at the time. They're like $65, $70, which is an insane amount. But again, I just feel like I never wear eyeshadow anymore, to be honest. And I also wanna do like an updated skincare routine maybe in my next vlog of how I kind of got rid of my cystic acne. So be sure to stay tuned and subscribe for that if you would like to know how. That was a whole journey and process. And of course, it's going to be different for everyone, but I also just wanna share my story but anyways I feel like kind of cleaning out your makeup every once in a while definitely helps that factor I have also been seeing this lash serum all over TikTok so I really wanted to try it out as my lashes are kind of short right now and could use a little bit of help so this is just the last lash sensational from Maybelline and this is their last lash boosting serum so really intrigued to try this one out and I'll let you know how it goes but as for all this, maybe I'll just like, I feel like this needs to go. I got this at a spa a very, very long time ago. This is just like powder and then I like put it in a different container and I feel like that just needs to go. Beauty blender, that's fine. That's fine. This is also kind of old, but I'm still trying to use it up. It's just the Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue. This is kind of what I used when my acne was really bad because I just... It has salicylic acid in it, so it was just kind of lighter than liquid foundation, but this is the foundation I'm using right now, which is the Clinique Even Better Clinical, and again, it has salicylic acid, so it helps with my acne. Also, shout out to Morphe for their beauty sponges. This was only $10 at Sephora, which I thought was really affordable, better than the Beauty Blender, and essentially does the same thing. I always feel like I clean out my makeup so often, but I never actually get rid of anything in here. I'm really trying to do better. I feel like this one, this bronzer can go now. This is so old. This is the first bronzer I've ever had. And I believe I started wearing makeup in like middle school. That's going in the garbage now. I have two other bronzers that I can use, including like this Too Faced one from when it was like OG, you know, Chocolate Soleil bronzer when the hype was real about that. Let's see, I have lash glue in here. Those are fine for now, I guess. I don't really wear them that much, so I feel like it's okay. Pencil sharpener for the pencil eyeliners I do not have. This is my favorite mascara, like I was talking about. You really don't have to have high-end mascara for it to do the same job as drugstore mascara. I so I also use the L'Oreal Telescopic, just kind of layer the two, one for curl and then one for the length. And I feel like most of this stuff in here is fine. I just, maybe this one could be thrown out. This is like the old, yeah, Benefit highlighter stick. I mean, it's probably pretty dried out, doesn't really apply the way it should, but I really wanna try out like the Charlotte Tilbury one, kind of the liquid highlighters and blushes and bronzers because right now I only use powder because that's kind of what I grew up with and that's all I really know. Trying to, again, clean out my makeup and buy things that I would actually use, but keeping it still very minimal because again, I don't really wear a ton of makeup other than to like film videos or something like that. So trying to keep it like reined in a little bit. I only buy like mini lip stuff now too because I just don't really use it. Especially in the pandemic when you have to wear a mask all the time, you don't really get a chance to wear any lip gloss or lipstick anyways, or there's not really a purpose to it. Also, maybe we'll go on Amazon and buy like a new, tub this one i've also had forever since my childhood bedroom and uh it's pretty ugly uh. to be honest with you i mean it's in a drawer but it actually pains me to have to like throw away makeup and i know you can sanitize them and stuff but i literally just don't wear them and i have used them so i don't think you can really donate them they're just going to be passed on to another life now yeah, okay. I also bought a new eyelash curler. I feel like this one was from Quo, which is like the Shoppers Drug Mart brand, which is like a drugstore in Canada. And you do have to replace these every so often, which I really didn't know before. And when I do replace them, it is like magical because the like indent in here gets like too large. So it really pinches your eyelashes. And uh, yeah, I guess that's really how you keep buying 
eyelash curlers, but that can go in the garbage now. And I just got one from Revlon because that's literally all they had at the store. But yeah, change your pads every so often. I wish they came with more like refills of those kind of things instead of like buying a new eyelash curler because I feel like these ones, the like curler part itself, last way longer but you do need to replace the pads every so often because I feel like they just get too squished and it really pinches your eyelashes but I did get a new eyelash curler so yay all right now moving on to actually how I curl my hair so I will take about a I don't know one inch half an inch section and curl away from my face of course the face framing pieces I'm going to curl way higher than all of the rest of the pieces just so that it does curl around my face and then when I let it go I usually do like let it go like that I don't know if that makes any sense so that's kind of the end result of the curl again I will do it so I kind of go just to above my ears like where I kind of curl it and I try and keep the straightener like or the curling iron flat like this and then when I let it go, I just release it. I don't unclamp it until I'm at the bottom and kind of drag it out so that the end is straight. That is kind of the technique of how I curl it. And I feel like I, I am definitely not a hair professional or good at hair by any means. So if I can do it and learn, you can do it and learn. And maybe this isn't the you know best technique, but it's one that works for me and I'm a roll with it. I also leave like a little bit out at the end just because I like that more wavy look when I do go and brush them out. But basically, I'll just do this all around. Also, one more thing I forgot to mention, I always start clamping in the middle and then kind of releasing the hair and moving it back while still curling. If that makes sense, I don't start at the bottom and like wrap it. I feel like that technique just like leads to creases in the like end of your hair and doesn't really heat up the hair like evenly, so that's how I used to do it, but this is how I do it now. <laughs> so again, clamping in the middle of the hair and then releasing as I like pull it back and then re-wrap it back up. Okay, so this is my hair fully curled and as you can tell, it looks a little bit crazy, but I'm going to leave it for about five to 10 minutes before I brush it out as I really feel like the curls need to set. In the meantime, I'm gonna share with you a little Lululemon haul. So I did order some things online from Tuesday's drop, which was January 18, 19, something like that. Super excited about this and I will be doing a full monthly haul on my channel So be sure to stick around if you enjoy lululemon hauls as I'll be kind of detailing and trying everything on In that haul, but I did open these and unbox it for tiktok Which again if you're not following me on there be sure to go give me a follow if you want to keep up with more content as I post a lot more on there obviously, but the first thing I got are the Wisteria Purple Aligns. So this is kind of what they look like. They are double lined, which I'm maybe a little bit disappointed about because I thought that these would be dark enough not to be double lined, but they are, which I don't really mind double lined pants. So it is what it is, but I do really like this color of purple and I think it will be perfect for kind of the spring and summertime. Although I'm not really sure if I wanna wear double lined leggings in the summer. And the second thing I got, I'm also super excited for is the wonder train high rise leggings this is called misty glade i really think that this is a beautiful kind of teal blue color give you a little bit of a better idea of it but again i'll be trying all of these things on in my lululemon educator monthly haul so stick around for that but i just wanted to show you the couple things that did come in the mail and i will be trying them on also on my tiktok as kind of like a little preview so i am very excited about these two colors and i really love experimenting with more colors now that i work at lululemon i feel like i can be a little bit more adventurous as well and i do get to try on a lot of the product because i'm literally there all the time all right now that my curls are kind of setting I'm just gonna go ahead and spray them with hairspray to again kind of lock in that curl and then depending on how kind of wavy or tight I want them I will either brush it out with kind of this wider tooth brush or my regular wet brush so I'm gonna go with this one today just to leave them a little bit looser and that's kind of what they brush out to and that is exactly how I do my hair 
basically in all of my videos. Of course, like I said, I'm gonna go in with the 100 proof smoothing oil. So I just put a couple pumps in my hand. And I really like to like rub it all over so that it's not like concentrated in one spot and it won't leave like a big greasy pile. But that is basically all I do. Okay, so this is the final product of my hair. I am also thanking the hair gods that my hair actually turned out pretty good today, as sometimes I feel like it is a hit and miss. I do have, obviously, bad hair days like everybody else. Basically, to recap, I wash my hair every five to six days. On the first day, I'll usually straighten it. The second, third, fourth day is usually curled in some fashion, and the last day is usually in a ponytail or a bun. And yeah, that's kind of all the products that I use, and I will have them all linked down below in the description. But I really hope that this video was kind of helpful if you are looking, you know, to get your hair done or recommendations on products to use if you dye your hair or, you know, just want to switch up your hair care routine. But leave me a comment down below on some of your hair care favorites. I'm always looking to to try out new products as well but thank you so much for watching this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video and I really hope to see you in the next one bye